Hi everyone, my name's Mike, and in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to do a 744. 744 is a five ball juggling trick. It is a sight swap, and essentially what the numbers mean are you are gonna be throwing one throw as you would in a seven ball pattern. That is the seven. You're gonna follow that with two throws as you would from a four ball pattern. These are the fours. Essentially, if you are juggling five balls, each of these throws will be a five. So right now, the pattern is five, 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 etc. A seven is very similar to a five, it's just a little bit higher. So, roughly like this. This seven would be the same height as you would juggle your seven balls. The fours are very similar, so if I'm just juggling four balls, each of these throws is a four. Now, just for example, with one ball, we've got a four, like this. We've got a five, like this. We've got a seven, like this. So, with this in mind, let's just try the 744 pattern with three balls. So, this sight swap doesn't exactly work smoothly with three, but it's still a good way to get used to it it is a little bit tricky at first it's likely very different to any pattern you've done in the past so with the three balls just start normally juggling three and then throw one ball height of a seven as that ball is in the air you want to throw two fours like this so here what's quite likely to happen is you've gone like this and if you have don't worry, just think. The seven might have to go a little bit higher than you think it should go, and the fours might have to go a little bit lower. And it's not necessarily going lower, it just feels like you're throwing it extra low, even though on video you might see that it comes out sort of a normal height. So all together, juggle normal, seven, four, four, like this. Seven, four, four. Then from the other hand, seven, but yes, at this point, still remember, try and catch the fours before the seven. So once you've started to get the hang of it with three balls, let's move on to five. There are a bunch of steps you could take in between, but since you're at the point of learning a five ball side swap, I think the best thing to do, for me anyway, was just to try it with five balls. So you can either go from cold, meaning directly from here into 744, or from a cascade. As usual, I'm gonna teach from a cascade because that's how I prefer to do it. So when you're ready, start juggling the five ball cascade and get yourself at a solid and comfortable height and then lock this in your head as your five ball height. So the first thing we're gonna do is just throw one ball as the seven. So from here, stop. Do that a bunch of times from both hands. So now moving on to the 744 itself. As soon as you throw that seven, get ready to throw the four from the other hand and then the next four. At first, don't worry about catching it or anything. Just think about releasing the seven and the two fours. At the comfortable five ball height, seven two fours let them all drop as soon as you're ready turn this into a one round of seven four four to collect catching all of them at your comfortable five ball height seven two fours keeping in mind that you're catching the fours before you catch the seven if you're not just remember throw the fours lower than you feel like they should be and also experiment with throwing the seven higher than you feel like it should be. Initially, it will be weird because you're getting comfortable with them all doing the fives and then suddenly you've got to do a high one and two fours. It really throws the rhythm off, but the more you practice it, the easier it will begin to feel. The next step is just to add a seven after the two fours. So the seven will be the, if you're starting with the seven in your right hand, going seven, four, four, then the next seven will be the remaining ball in your left. So there'll be a seven up there coming down, there'll be a four here coming down, and there'll be one ball in your left hand. It's gonna be the next seven. We've got 
744. This is the new seven. Now, just try that, throwing the next seven and ideally catching it. From this point, simply add another two fours, collect. You've done two rounds of the 744. Rhythm is probably the most important part of this trick. And even after two rounds, you can get away with doing that at the wrong rhythm. So you could be throwing your, your seven far too high or your fours too high or something. Anyway, as you get into it, you might feel yourself adjusting the base heights of your sevens or your fours so it slots into the rhythm better. Don't be afraid of doing this. And remember, often your body might know more than what you think is correct. So I'll do one example with a seven being far too high. Still sort of works, but the rhythm is just a bit off. So you could adjust for that by making the fours higher, but it's still not really gonna work out. So as a comparison, here is with a lower seven, probably more of a correct height. If the camera can pick up the noise of my hands. Then you'll get an idea of the rhythm. It's quite quick. 744, 744, like this. Anyway, the way to get out of this back into a pattern is very simple. Simply throw a five instead of a seven and it will naturally slot back in. So 744, five. 7.44. So that's pretty much it for 7.44. If you can do it, the next level would probably be the 9.4444. So that's similar concept, but much higher throw and then do four of the fours instead of just two. Well, you get the idea, you can link them together and things like that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments and let me know if you've got any questions or need any clarification, anything like that. Subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Have a lovely day.